Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Technology Strategy and Development Team, TSD. This video will describe the process to define network location and establish a zone relationship with the network location in the SLA monitor function of ADS 2.0. You'll see a zone being created and network locations being added to zones. A brief look at the network monitoring feature is also provided. This video will describe network locations and how they can be formed into zones for use with network monitoring provided by the SLA monitor application. An up-to-date network map is a necessity to creating the logical groupings to define the various zones needed. There is a bit of an art to creating zones as they can be grouped by region, country, city, maybe even by floors in a building depending upon a given need or situation and also depending upon your complexity of your network. The network locations are based on subnets where the agents have been discovered. Upon successful agent discovery, the admin tab and the subchoice of zone management would be used to create the logical zone grouping. Once testing is enabled, an agent from each zone will be used to test interzone, and similarly within a given zone, agent-to-agent -agent testing is also being employed. We will perform an agent discovery, create a new zone, and establish a couple of network location assignments to zones. Finally, we'll take a look at the matrix being formed under the network monitoring tab based on the configure zones and the individual network locations. The network diagram on the following page will illustrate what we're going to be configuring in the SLA monitor application. As you can see here, we have a network diagram. It has nine network locations, and we'll have three configured zones, and the SLA monitor application will be a part of the ADS server shown in the bottom left corner. I have logged into the SLA Mon application. The default landing tab is the Discovery tab. I will first define a network location based upon country, province, and city of Quebec, Canada. After entering the location information, I have entered an IP address followed by a mask to determine how large the search for agents will be. I have entered a slash 32 for only the one agent in this case. The mask can be a slash 21 through a slash 32. The last field is labeled zone, which allows me to enter a zone label here. This process will not only create the zone, but add the newly discovered agents into that zone after the discovery process is ran. I have selected the default of no zone for this demonstration. To add the role for the discovery process, I have pushed the Add Update button. Selecting the checkbox for the Quebec Canada role, I have pushed the Run Discovery button. Answering the pop-up to proceed, the agent discovery bar opens, and the agent that is discovered and shown in the Discovered Test section of the GUI. Moving over to the Agents tab, you can see the agent that was just discovered being present as a third row from the bottom. Moving on to the Admin tab and selecting Zone Management, we can configure the network locations in the zones assigned. I will first demonstrate how to create a zone and I will call it the N Europe zone for Northern Europe and press the gray button with the blue plus sign in the center to add it to the zone side of the interface. The left side of the interface displays the discovered subnet locations. Clicking the upper plus sign expands the tree view of the subnet locations. Once a zone is selected from the Add to Zone dropdown, Two little green greater than signs become active and clicking on that icon puts the subnet into the zone selected in the drop-down. I have done that with the Austria and expanding the zone tree on the right you can see that the subnet is added. I have also done that with Muchen, Germany. Please note that I selected the Northern Europe zone and since there were no agents discovered from either Moscow or London, I do not have a subnet to add to that zone at this time. Possibly rediscovering those subnets or maybe a network outage has prevented the agents from being discovered in those zones. Finally, selecting the America zones now, I have added the Quebec and Sacramento network locations into the America zone. 
Selecting now the Network Monitoring tab, you can see the matrix that was formed by the zones called Americas and Europe. The two independent network locations of Bangalore and Singapore are also shown in the 4x4 matrix. The two blue squares indicate that this is a zone reference to itself and clicking on the Europe reference shows the relationship of München to Salzburg, the network locations in that zone. Refreshing the network tab, I can click on the Americas reference and see the relationship between Quebec and Sacramento. Look for additional videos on Avaya Mentor for the use of SLA monitor and configuring of the call patterns and testing. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.